What's going on, friends? Slinger Fury here. I've got a, another alliance. We're here. We're on base one. It's not that tough looking. If just, it's a HQ 11, so I'm just taking in my B team, Galvatron's team. Buses not required for this base. They've got Mortar 7, 7, and 7. They've got Outpost 7, 7. I swear to God, Mob isn't. Fix your freaking app. It gets so freaking annoying when that nonsense happens. I'm in the middle of a freaking recording. Sorry, my friends. And outpost five. So two sevens and one five. They've got a beam four. So now I gotta move the damn thing there. I do not see another beam. Yeah, nothing hit back here. So they've only got one. Oh, uh, that's right. They would only have one beam because they're 11. You don't get your second beam until HQ 12. They've got all our cannons 10, 10, 10, and 9. They've got laser turrets 7, 7, and 6. Shoot, I did not mean to drop shockwave, but here, let's get this shit started because it's going to be a pound town wrecking here. Here we go. Let the destruction begin, my friends. We're just going to go ahead and send a dive bomb up here. Razor Crawl, take out that AC. It's over. It's over, friends. Base one is down. Galvatron's team, the B team, took a deal with these. Of course, they should have. Jesse, you can't get on the table now. Jesse's trying to crawl from my bed onto the little table I have set up. Slots. One of my people waiting on a 50 cap, but his priority is lesser than the bus is amazing. Huh? So many of them need 50 ops now. I coined Megatron out. I've got a video I've got to upload. I've got to get it edited and upload. It's also I've got Devastator to three. And I I went ahead and popped him and used him with the Busters on Alliance War last night just for a Bruticus test. Show you guys what it looked like. I, I ended up not getting it edited enough. I did edit it, you know, my outro, intro, my intro and outro is here. So when I say edit, that's pretty much all I do, and then I put in background music. I don't ever cut any footage or anything like that. Uh, but the edit messed up and froze up when you're watching, so I had to delete it. And I haven't redone it because I slept all day. Caught up on some much needed and earned sleep. So let's go ahead and look at base two. Jess, Jesse, hey, where you at? I see you. She's hiding behind the star screen box. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, 14 or... Yeah, 14. You don't have anything hit. You've got shock 4 and 4. Oh, God. That's where Bombshell would come in handy right there. Hack those and it would just shred it at HQ. He's got a mortar 9. 9 and 9. Outposts are eight, eight, and eight. 
which he's behind on that. He is slacked on his outposts. His walls are seven. Well, this is exactly what I was just talking about in my chat, so I'm going to screen cap this and show him. He's got uh, AC 11, 10, 10, 10. He's got laser turret 7, 9. Where's the other one at? 9. Oh. Jesse. Got beams at 6 and 5. He's got swoop jazz, pyromagna, pipes, optimus. Slag? Is it slag or snarl? Don't uh, I can't remember the triceratops. He's got rodimus. He's got I think it's dust up, but I'm not sure on the the green and red car because like I said, they got two that and they alternate the colors. The one's red and green, the other one's green and red. I don't remember its name. And he's got bumblebee. So that he's got a lot of good potential in them outposts. Uh, Buster should take his fine. So let's go do it. Jesse, calm down, please. Here's the Busters. Autobots engage. Just paid attention to the lines, man. <laughs> High fall of Autobots engage. Drop everybody else. I'm shocked they've speed him up. Took out that one mortar. Come on, chocolate. But then shield them guys with a battle boost. over. All Shockwave has to do is keep everybody alive. Right. We're gonna get them all topped off here. And we won. Autobot. It's engaged. High fault. You've been busted. Psh. 
Mixmaster goes in next. All right, let's look. Let's look at three. We'll get this one. HQ12. Beams are seven and seven. Mortars are nine, nine, and nine. Now, look, missile launcher two, hid behind the HQ. Pipes, Ironhide, Huffer. Uh, Uncle Buck, that orange one right there, that's Huffer. He's the one that's got the mini beams for Autobots. It's Prowl. He's got Rust, Dust, and the other one. See, right there they are. See? Green and red, red and green. He's got Rodimus. Hot spots, the blue firing. He's got swoop. So he's got some good bot potential in them outposts. He's got uh, laser turret 10. 10. 10. He's got a shock 4. His outposts are 9, 9, and 8. His ACs are 12, 12, 12, and 12. I think the busters will hit this one, but they but we've got like over 20 minute cooldown wait. Uh, I don't have the coins to coin them, so I will cut this one here and I'll get the rest recorded later. To show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this my intro and outro edited in so I can get this up and published for you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Please stay subscribed, and if you're not, please subscribe. Turn on notifications so you'll know whenever I upload something. I don't always get content up during Monday through Thursday, but I usually have several videos Friday through Sunday because of events. So I usually put up multiple videos a day. Except this past weekend where it was leaderboard, I didn't get multiple videos up. I think I did get up at least one every day on the weekend though. Because leaderboard events, it was just crunch, crunch, crunch. Gotta get them points. And it was so worth it because Russian Brothers, awesome guys, even the feeders. I don't know about Russian Brothers 3, but I'm sure they're great too. I mean, they place they place in the leaderboard events. There's so many alliances that don't even place into that final uh, rewards bracket. And Russian Brothers 3 even gets into that. So, uh, you know, during the week and stuff and just regular events, I stay down in Brothers 2 because I cannot handle... Cybertronian League Wars yet. I'm not quite there. Once I am, I get to, I'll get to go back up. But for super important alliance events, I get to move up to Russian Brothers, which is what happened this weekend. And I loved it. Uh, Roof Man is just the greatest. He is my contact. Uh, the one that got me into Russian Brothers. I love him like a brother, man. He's awesome. My he's my Ukrainian brother. Uh, he does a lot of translating. I've been using an app called Duolingo uh, when I can to, to learn a little Russian, but I'm, you know, I still can't you know, just read what they say and know what they're saying. Got a long way to go, but I'm working on it because I want to be able to communicate effectively with them without using translators. It's just because, unfortunately, I'm not able to copy chat from a text and paste it. So I have to write it down or screenshot it and then put it, and then type it into freaking translators and it's so time consuming or I can just screenshot it and show Roof and he'll tell me that it's very very aggravating and I can't wait till I've got the Russian language down to where I can at least communicate with him like a child because then you know I'll be able to understand and, and communicate without a translation app thing so and that's a goal I'm working on because, you know, I highly respect and and have fun with these guys. And it'd be even funner if it was just I could just communicate freely with them. So that's one of the things I've been working on, friends. Uh, just remember, stay classy. Be good to one another. Uh, I'll see you here soon. You've been busted. Pshh.